In a perfect world, we would all communicate seamlessly. However, that's not really the case, especially when it comes to the bedroom. We tend to usually play off the touch and go method, which is kind of a form of communication on its own. However, it's not seamless. We're not telling you exactly what we want you to do to us, and you're not telling us what you want us to do to you. And it usually becomes a little bit more difficult to navigate what a female wants in pleasure. So I've actually talked to multiple different women to see what they have been lacking in the bedroom and what they want to see more of when they're intimate with somebody. And to be honest, a lot of them said the exact same things. So I've broken it down into the five top things that women want in the bedroom, but maybe are too shy to ask. So men, this is going to help kind of bridge that gap. And this is just a general idea of what women really want in the bedroom. Keep in mind, not everybody wants the same thing. That's why communication works best when we say exactly what we want and what we need. But I can't force you to talk with all your partners. So I broke it down into something a little bit easier for you guys to digest. So let's kick it off with the first thing that women really want in the bedroom. Now, I know we hear it all the time, but we need to reiterate, we need more foreplay. And I'm not just talking about the sexual foreplay, such as oral or fingering, but actually building that desire up before we head to the bedroom. Now, a lot of the time where men go wrong is only touching their partner when they're ready to initiate sex. But women just don't like feeling like an object or like a whole. So we need to tell them that we deserve desire them throughout the day. The foreplay actually starts off outside of the bedroom. For example, sending something as simple as a text message or a voice note telling them how much you miss them or how much you're thinking about them, how they can't wait to get home and hop on top of you. Maybe it's complimenting the way that your partner looked before you left the house. You look so sexy in your work uniform. I just wanted to rip it off. Or a voice note saying, I can't wait to get home and eat you for dessert. Or babe, I'm missing the way that you taste. This is a different way to initiate foreplay because we're not right there in front of each other. We know this isn't gonna be leading towards sex right now. This is just a really clever way of building intimacy. And no, sexing is not just for the teenagers. It's for people that know how to do that build up. And remember, foreplay starts as soon as sex ends. The second thing that a lot of women were complaining about is not enough eye contact. We want you to admire us for a second. Where you stop, you pull back, and you maybe see something like this. You're so sexy. Or you look so beautiful. Even just pausing for a second to create a steamy makeout session with a little bit of eye contact. This makes us feel way more connected, way more seen, and it's a way of bonding and creating that closeness that women crave. And for the guys out there that struggle with finishing too fast, this is a great time for you to pause and give those words of affirmation, stimulating the mind and making out with that person to build that connection. But since we're on the topic of branching together and closing that orgasm gap, I wanna take a second to talk to you about a company that I teamed up with called Promescent. That is their exact goal, is to close that orgasm gap. But how though? They have designed a delay Lace spray that is used by over 500,000 men across the world, as well as being the only clinically approved delayed spray in the US. With a special patent formula that absorbs super fast into your body, working in as little as five minutes, helping you last longer on demand so that you can extend those playtime sessions. And one of the most important things is that there's actually little to no transfer to your play partner. Now, if the spray isn't convenient enough for you, don't worry, they have you covered with the delay wipes. They're extremely discreet and hella convenient. Plus, they're the exact same size as a condom. Perfect for a date night, perfect for travel, throw it in your gym bag, you never know when you're gonna get laid. The thing that makes these babies different is that they're actually packed with a punch. They're 75% stronger than any of the other wipes on the market. However, if you're looking for max performance, the delayed spray is definitely gonna be the best for you, helping you perform at your peak. Now, for my Volvos out there, obviously we have have got you covered. And did I mention it's warming? Working in as little as a minute with just a pea size amount. This arousal gel will increase your sensitivity, enhancing your satisfaction and helping pave the way to hit your orgasm. I want your sensations to be absolutely heightened so you can feel everything. Trust me when I say you won't regret this arousal gel because it's gonna make you feel all kinds of sensations. Now that's not the only thing that Permessing carries. Permessing carries all of your sexual wellness needs. All in one convenient spot. We've gifted you 15% off just by clicking the link down below. With free shipping over $10 throughout the US to being able to try it for 60 days guaranteed or money back. 
Yes, that means even if you used it and you don't like it, but we both know that's not gonna happen. One of the things that I absolutely love about Permesin is that it's actually backed up by actual doctors supporting and recommending the product. And don't worry, when you get the product shipped to you, it's 100% incognito, meaning nobody knows what the heck is in that package. So what do you have to lose? Try Permesin today, extend your sex time, enhance your sensations, and get comfortable with receiving your max amount of pleasure because it's playtime. So the third most common thing that women are absolutely absolutely craving so much more of in the bedroom is noise. Now I know I have talked about this in the past, but we need to make some noise, okay? Because a lot of the time, the only time you're making any noise is when you're about to climax. So just like yourself, we need reassurance. We need to know that what we're doing feels good. So whether it's a manly grunt, maybe a moan, or just simply saying yes. Give us some feedback, make some noise, boys. The fourth thing is that every lady has a little bit of dirty in them. When it comes to sex, a lot of the time, we wanna be dropped right into our feminine, meaning we like it when you take control. Now, there is a fine line between really aggressive and too respectful. So you need to fall somewhere in the between, which leads me to our first one, which is communication. And in order to pull that little bit of dirty out of her, you're gonna have to have some trust. So yes, we all like to be manhandled a little bit. Just make sure you have the conversation before you drop into playtime because there are levels to this. Now, finally, the fifth one, bring out the toys. This is how you're going to elevate their experience. After all, 75% of women actually can't orgasm from just penetration alone. So when we play with new vibrations, new senses, new toys, it heightens the experience, making it more kinky, but in a really playful, caring way because it means you care about their pleasure. We need to close that orgasm gap and you're gonna get her good if you bust out those toys. Even better, you guys take a trip to the adult toy store together, picking out a toy that suits both of your needs. And I know a lot of guys, they love toys too. You know what's a super big buzzkill? Is when a man's ego gets hurt by you wanting to bring in a toy or even suggesting a toy. That toy is meant to help, it's meant to give you a break and if you struggle with premature ejaculation, then use that toy to your advantage or help her explore her body. Like I said, toys help elevate the experience. Now a little bonus tip for you because I mean, we always need a little bit extra, am I right? After all, a lot of us really enjoy being held. The aftercare gets left behind so frequently and men tend to pass out where women are left with an abundance full of energy. Now this doesn't mean you need to go run a marathon with us after or you have to dedicate a whole half an hour, hour. A little bit of aftercare goes such a long way. You can hold us, give us kisses, words of affirmation, maybe even just a quick little spooning session. Hell, my favorite way of aftercare is actually taking a shower together, getting out, and then cuddling after. This is a really good way to make your woman feel not so much like an object. And it's a simple step that goes such a long way. Now, if you do any of these six things, I promise you this will put you above most men. Because unfortunately, most men don't do these things. And it's been proven by the women I've talked to in the research that I've done. So go back, take your notes, and start adding in some of these things. Explore a little bit, communicate more, build that desire. And I will see you babies on Monday for another episode.